please uh, sit down. Right here? Yeah, that's great. Just great. So, <clears throat> do you know why we brought you here? Well, it's something about when I was a child, right? Exactly. When you were younger, you were part of a secret organization that fought for kids' rights. But after you turned 13, you and your teammates had all memories of that time erased in a process called decommissioning. Oh, I remember now. Yeah. Well, that's because we've found a way to temporarily reverse the process so we can ask you some questions. Questions? About what? About your last mission and what happened to number one. Who? Nigel Uno, your sector leader. You never saw him again after that mission. Well, I'm not sure I remember all that. Well, then, uh, start at the beginning. T tell me what you do remember. Well, it was... It was the delightful children's birthday. And as always, they was gonna have the most delicious birthday cake in the whole world that they wouldn't share with anybody. Nobody knew where they was gonna eat it. But number one thought that if he could get a trace on them, that would lead us right to the cake. Car carrier for cruise ships. <laughs> well, uh, where were you while all this was going on, number three? My name is Kuki. And I was following the carrier in one of those death trap vehicles we used to ride around in. And my dim-witted husband was... I was... I... Was, I... Wait. Well, I, where was I? <sighs> So, did you catch them, number four? Well, they were going pretty fast. Not as fast as my care nowadays, mind you, but they had the pedal to the metal. So they got away? You'd have to be plain crazy to think so. <laughs> Get it? Plain crazy! They escaped on a plane! <laughs> right, it's very funny. So, so, so what happened next? Oh. Well, that's when number 362 showed up. Number one took getting kicked off the mission pretty hard. We tried to cheer him up, but he wasn't having it. So what did you do next? Only thing we could do, go back to the treehouse. And you're never gonna believe what we found there. After that, 74.239 ordered father to release us or he'd destroy the cake. He told us to meet him the very next morning at the old abandoned amusement park. I forgot what it was called. The Rainbow Monkey Let's Learn About the Lavatory Fun Park. Can you believe they tried to make a theme park based on potty training? The minute I took over the Rainbow Monkey Corporation, I tore the place down, just to stop the smell. 74.239 told us he would explain his little test once we got there. But the place was deserted. Well, I learned my lesson about stealing stuff from nerds a long time ago. It appeared Sticky Beard hadn't. So what were you and Sector V doing? Hmm. Making a pact. I don't think I ever seen number one that mad before. Why we didn't just go home, I'll never know. Everyone was racking up the points like Harvard used to do against Yale. Everyone but us. Months later, when I became Supreme Commander of the KND, I had to order number 363's decommissioning. Not because it got too old, but because of it freaking out whenever someone touched him. In layman's parlance, he went 200% bananas. Reminds me of a fellow student botching a liver biopsy in my second year of med school. And have it. So what, um, what? Huh? What? What happened next? Well, suffice it to say, Father was not happy finding us in his house. I am not happy! So, number one went back to the amusement park, right? Yep, for that one last battle with the delightful children. <laughs> and wait till you hear about it. And that was the last time we saw number one. We all missed him so much, but I think Wally took it the hardest. Yeah. 
Oh, I sure did. And would you mind hugging your own wife instead of mine? Hey! You're not Abby. And that's all I remember. Everything is getting kind of fuzzy again. But I hope I help answer all your questions. Oh, you've helped me all right. Now I know where number one is. Hello? Yeah. We told him everything he wanted to hear. We'll meet you up on the moon base, okay? Oh, and number one, welcome back.